I want to do a pratfall. Alright, maybe. Alright, let's do a Bill Levine show. Where's my theme? Can I be Hugh McCrack? Wait, Hugh McCrack? You're gonna start to do your pre pre show ritual stuff? Do a dance usually. People tell me what to do. I mean, <laughs> it's fucked up. Three minutes, Billy. You getting ready? Doing kid? it for years. <laughs> Get loose. The uh, Jim Keltner, the uh, drummer. So I like you. Right? One minute, Bill. <laughs> and now, ladies and gentlemen, live from New York City, Bill Levine. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Bill Levine Show. Thanks for being with us again. So happy that you're still interested. Um, as you know, this is a talk show, and it's a new style talk show, but we base it on the old style talk shows where uh, hosts smoke cigarettes, the guests, if they wanted to, could smoke cigarettes, and that's what we're about. So I just make that disclaimer at the top of every show. If you're looking for a lesson here or someone to guide your kids, you came to the wrong place. So anyway, we've got a, just a jam-packed show for you tonight. Just really one of the finest shows that we put together in a long history of doing the show. And so, I, I mean, instead of hearing me jibber-jabbering away, I'm going to get right to the guests. Our first guest is one of the finest session musicians in the history of session musicianship. He has played with the likes of Bob Dylan, Tom Petty, uh, you name it, all the greats of rock and roll. Here he is, without further ado, Jim Keltner, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Jim, welcome. Hey. Can I, uh, can I call you Mr. Uh, you call me whatever you want. You have a seat there, Jim? Yeah, right there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, 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 it's cool. It's you know what? It's funny. Sort these of shows. in my frame here. <laughs> That's all. It's like these shows, they're all the same. You walk out, whether it's, you know, Leno, Levine, Leno, fucking Letterman. I mean, wherever you go, it's the same it's thing. You walk out, you don't know whether to go left or right. You know what I mean? Thanks for, like, thank you for putting me in that high company. Oh, what are you kidding me? I see you uh, brought some Twizzlers with you. Oh, yeah. The I first them, guests. No, it's a little, yeah, it's guests a little don't bit. usually bring a, Oh, they're open. Actually, <laughs> I, 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 sorry. I have uh, money and I, I got a little money. Completely hungry. understandable. I'm going to leave those right there if you no want. No problem. So anyway. Um, Although, I'd rather you put them in the middle of us. Oh, yeah, okay. Just so it's closer. It's a better know. idea. I'll just leave them right there. All right, thank you. I you you can get to them right there, can't you? Yeah. All right. So well, anyway. Um, I probably shouldn't eat this while we're talking, but... No, that's alright. I don't mind. Do you guys mind? No. <laughs> Thank no, you. So. Thank you. Well, there's no audience here. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we weren't supposed to give away that shit. I, I did have my... Ah, there, there's the studio audience coming in a little late. Hey, you folks, where were you when I needed you? Jesus. In any case... Thanks for noticing that, Jim. You're, well, you're a sound guy. You've been uh, you've been doing this. I, you grew up in a, a small shack in Mississippi, is that right? Um, no, that's actually my brother, my older brother. I grew up uh, up on the west coast. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> west coast. The west coast is in the house tonight. Hey, <laughs> west coast, baby! <laughs> you still got nothing on the west. <laughs> is there uh, any truth in the rumor that? You learned to play the drums by watching the, uh, by reading uh, National Enquirer and, and watching the pictures, looking at the pictures of the African boys in uh, the underprivileged African countries. The Africans in the house, okay. Or, or National Geographic. I'm appalled, Mr. Levine. Really? Uh, you know, I always thought you were a great guy, but. I no, mean, no, 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 no. <laughs> I know these guys are really thin, they got bugs <laughs> flying on them, they got all kinds of diseases, they're living in mud shacks, some of them don't even have mud shacks, I mean, they have no clothes, they have Jim, no food, Jim. their bellies are getting out the ear, they're so thin, you know what I, I, mean? I, I meant no offense by that comment, I, I just meant that, you, tell us about your origins in playing the drums. Uh, that's a good segue. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Uh, well, basically, that's my job, so, ladies and gents. Uh, out on the west coast, I was up in uh, 
Northern California, a little above, um, um, a little above uh, San Francisco. Uh, Can you use in San Rafael, California, uh, uh, by the wine country, man. Uh, best place in the world. I started one day when I was about five years old. Um, five years old, I'm walking down the street, you know. This guy picks me up. We start Holy going down the road. Macro. Well, you know what? He offered me candy. What do you offer a little kid? Yeah. You know, candy. Yeah. So I'm walking down the street. This guy picks me up. Jim, right? candy. Jim, can, yeah. can you? I'm sorry. My, my producer's telling me it's time for us to go to commercial. Um, can we pick that up when we get back? I'll remember exactly where you were. Um, sure. Thank you very much. We'll be back in commercial with Jim Kelvin. I mean, I'm not really happy about yeah, this. No, no, no. We're not on. Hi, I'm uh, Greg K. Blacklung. I'm Greg Yellow. <laughs> You're Bill Levine, you Greg fucking Yellow. idiot. Rolling. Hi, this is Bill Levine with Kill You Quick Cigarettes, another fine product from Skull and Crossbones Tobacco. Buy it. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Bill Levine Show. We're here with Jim right. Keltner, famous session musician, played with... Bob Dylan, we'll get to that later, but he was telling us a story about how he first got involved in playing drums. Uh, we pick up the story in the wine country up in Northern California. Jim has just been picked up. <laughs> Northern California. Uh, Jim has just been picked up by Mr. a... Mr. Levine, why don't you just relax? Let me take over here, all right? Take hey, this is, you know... Take it. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to be back from that little interruption. Kind of threw me off, but I'm back. The you know sponsors, I mean? you know. They want their pound of flesh. It's like, can't you hear a man out these days? Yeah, Nobody wants to listen. It's Everybody the death of matters. And, and we at the Bill Levine Show bemoan that. I'm with you. I'm with you. Yeah, you too, huh? So uh, crowds, I was going down this tonight, road. Right? I was in, in the car with this older guy. He was taking me down the road, and all of a sudden we came to a fork. And he turned, turned to me and he said, um, He said, Son, we're at what you call... The crossroads. That's what happened. At the crossroads, I had to decide, and I, I went in with the deal because I wanted to play the drums and I wanted to be the best. And I never told anybody that before. But well, that's what we specialize here on the Bill Levine Show. And and did did some when you struck that deal? Did some ability magically invade your body, or of course, you did know, you have to practice? Uh, you know, just a little to keep it a little honest. You know what I mean? Um, but. You know, once I picked up those sticks, it's, you know, wood. It just, you know. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Tales of demonic possession here on the Bill Levine Show, ladies and gentlemen. We're constantly breaking ground. We're, we're sitting here talking with Jim Keltner. I'm sorry. Or Beelzebub's son, as you might have just learned. Um, this is remarkable. <laughs> Did, didn't your pact with the devil include some provision for secrecy? I mean, no one, you haven't told the story ever before, have you? This is it. I wasn't supposed to. I don't know what's going to happen now that I've told it, you know? I don't know. Um, I'm, I'm a little nervous. I mean, I was nervous or apprehensive. You know what? We're going to go to a commercial right now. That's what the music means again. And uh, we'll be back in a minute. I don't or maybe not. We don't know. Hey, we're back with a segment of the show that we call Bill Says. And this is where I just get to let loose on whatever's bugging me, whatever's rattling around that old empty cage up there. And tonight's topic is expectations what people expect of you I mean most people expect you know you go to school you get a job you get married you have kids you retire you die and they follow that path unwaveringly and if you deviate from it they hate you <laughs> uh, so tonight on Bill Says I ask the question why to each his own I mean frankly Without this TV show, I'm nothing. <laughs> and I devote myself to it, but if you don't want to do that, that's fine. I got no problem with it. That's it. In closure. Thanks for the quiz, <laughs> Okay. Thank you, and welcome back to the Bill Levine Show. That's all the time we've got here tonight. I mean, this was a borderline insane show. I think as a matter of fact, on the Greatest Hits collection, which will be coming out in about six months in stores, uh, we're going to call this Bill Levine Goes Insane. And it's all due to our first guest, Jim Keltner. Thank you, Jim. All right. And no of course, Hugh McCracken, where would we have been without him? Hugh? Hugh's still back talking to Ms. McCracken, but we'll get him later. And uh, we'll catch you next time on the Bill Levine Show. Get up and give us a go.